Verstraten here. Makaleli. And here's Jeff Rain Adelaide. Player! And showing fine vision. Nice. I did the ball roll to try to get the angle there of Verstraten and then just utilize that empty space really nicely. Yeah, the get forward with him is definitely working out really nicely. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Verstraten to review again. We already did a, a review back in the day for his other card but this card got significantly upgraded uh for the, his new milestone card so it should be very very interesting to review we're gonna be trying out both uh Makalele and Verstraten at the same time in regards to them being cdms we're gonna see what their off the ball movement and, and stuff is like with each other because Verstraten is a high high work rate player with a f with a uh preferred foot on the right side right so because of that you guys know how i am i like to use those types of players in the right certain defenseman position mostly right so we're gonna be taking a look at a lot of things here in regards to the card and what's missing and what he needs to be uh, a very good player because a lot of people I know actually use Bundesliga teams in general and because of these upgraded stats he could be significantly better so we're looking at a player that is five foot nine with high high work rates three star three star so he's not going to be this the type of center defensive mid that's going to be more oriented around uh being really defensively sound right he's gonna have moments where he's gonna want to attack right he's gonna utilize the empty space from time to time but because his work rates are high high that on stay back while attacking is going to work out really nicely, especially if you have someone who is a medium high or even a low high right next to him, right? So there's going to be like a decent balance there. In regards to his specific stats, we have 88 acceleration with 82 sprint speed. Uh, he has decent finishing capabilities at 61 for a CDM position. That's not bad. 95 shot power, 81 long shots. It's obviously bad in comparison to a lot of players, but it's just for the general situation. Um, his passing is actually quite nice for a CDM as well dribbling is going to be very very responsive with him it's going to be more responsive with his chemistry style but i still think i'd give him a shadow chemistry style in general for that extra pace boost in the card or maybe even an anchor because an anchor would give him plus five for the acceleration plus five for sprint speed oh he doesn't have he doesn't need physical capabilities yeah so definitely just a shadow card um dribbling on the card uh, very good base card stats wise for a CDM. So definitely something to look at as well. Defensive capabilities. Uh, this card I think is a guardian because guardian is the one that increases the uh, dribbling and defense. Um, he obviously gets fantastic stat increases in, in regards to guardian. He may not need the acceleration sprint speed boost potentially we're gonna we're gonna test that out but he does essentially have near enough perfect defending with great physical capabilities already so it's gonna be very interesting to see if those uh personality traits that he has or characteristic traits he has if it's noticeable in game right so um the way that we are going to be lined up with this card in game because we'll be doing a makalele slash versus straight review at the same time we're going to be checking him out in the left center defenseman position um and we're going to see what his defensive capabilities is like uh whether he intercepts the ball in certain positions and whatnot the way i'm going to be doing player reviews for this one in particular is i'm going to have stay forward for all three of the cams um and we're gonna tell them to get in get into the box so that way we have that space in the middle to see how makalele and verse straight move in a general sense so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into a game and see how they play hopefully they're not flops uh i really hope makalele is usable because i have a huge sentimental value towards him so uh yeah let's go ahead and try both of the cards yeah we're gonna be basically talking about both at the same time but you guys know i can split it really nicely so uh yeah let's get into a game and see how he plays this verse trade card definitely feels better than his old one, though. I will say that much. He did well to like stay in that general position. Verse trade did actually really nicely there. Nice little interception there with ver verse trade to like that a lot. Beautiful transitioning there with Verse Straight to get into the position. We're just going to go ahead and switch Verse Straight off to the right side now because he just feels very weird on the left side. So we're just going to do that really quickly. We're going to switch McLeary off to the left side, see how that works out. Uh, I think Verse Straight's definitely more of a right sided player. So I just want to see what he is like in that position. No interest in the initial tackle right there with Verstraete, but he does well to compensate in that second challenge for sure. Can he pick out with 
Nice, Adoma Playa there, or Playa, Playa, Playa. The thing about Verstraight is that you definitely feel like he definitely offers a great attacking presence in the team uh, because of the way that he positions himself, right? So I really think that he's definitely the type of uh, midfielder where you want to have balance instructions on him because I feel like he would be definitely better at doing that. Like if I were to run right now with him in this position, right? Like that, that extra attacking presence as well as having defensive presence to get the ball back just in case I lose it. It's just a nice thing to have with players like him that have uh, a decent attacking presence, right? Nice transition there with very straight. So what I want to see right now is their positioning. So you can see that they're really in line with each other because the high, high work rates in those positions where the players are not out of positions is always going to be very balanced. So what we're going to have to experiment here is what they move like uh, when people overcommit, right? So if we go ahead with verse straight over here, we're going to go ahead and commit this run with him right there. Wait for that run, make that transitioning pass. Get into the angle there, get that near post angle, shoot with his strong foot right there. Not fast enough to get into the spaces, but does offer a good uh, extra attacking presence for sure. So this is their positioning right now. So you can see that one card is already cut passing lanes with the other striker. So you can see that verse straight was occupying him really nicely. So decent defensive awareness right there for him to go ahead and occupy that space. Great little pass right there, reverse straight to get into the position. Might be able to score here, actually. So far, their positioning off the ball-wise when I lose possession of the ball is quite nice. I have no complaints about it, to be honest with you. And that's just, that's just play of being a terrible, terrible card. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and switch verse straight to cut passing lanes, get forward, and cover center. Now, generally speaking, guys, what I'm noticing so far with this card is that you can definitely use him on stay back while attacking on that right side, and he'll occupy that space really nicely. But because of his attacking capabilities, it may be ideal to just use him on balanced instructions with cut passing lanes, so balance in regards to this. But I want to try out the get four because I want to see more of his attacking capabilities and how he, he occupies uh, empty space whenever he sees it. Oh, I should have passed the Verstrata there, man. I should have passed to him there. He was you see that get forward instruction on him? He utilized that empty space instantly. And look at his look at his movement back. Because of his high high work rates, you see how he's already back into position? Definitely food for thought for you guys, man. Because those high, high work rates, it makes a difference. Got to try again. Not a good, pass. good defensive capabilities right there. Good little play right there. Waited for the opening space right there, and then we utilized it really nice. Nice. I did a ball roll to try to get the angle there of Restrata and then just utilize that empty space really nicely. Yeah, the get forward with him is definitely working out really nicely. Having the high, high work rates with this card, good attacking presence, but he also tracks back really quickly is brilliant on the card. All right, guys, so final verdict on Verstraight's card or Verstrata. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. It feels like Verstrata is right. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I think he's actually really fun to use, guys. If you use him to his capabilities and the way that he wants to play in game, because of his high, high work rates, he is going to be a more attacking-oriented player, right? His off-the-ball positioning in regards to attacking and in regards to defending after he's done attacking is really nice because of the fact that he has the 99 stamina to be able to track back instantly, right? So it's very tough to say which chemistry style I would give him entirely. I think that specifically because his dribbling already looks quite nice for a CDM, I think giving him that extra acceleration, that extra sprint speed, as well as those extra defending stats would benefit the card greatly because... If you tell him to get forward, it's not like he's always going to constantly get forward, right? And because of that high defensive work rate, he will track back really quickly because of that 99 stamina if you're not forcing the runs with him, right? Because when you force the runs with him, that's when they lose the stamina quicker. But you can see in certain positions when I was in a certain spot, Verstray would occupy that attacking position 
instantly, right? And that's a really, really nice thing to have in general, uh, just for those extra options you want to have in your team uh, in the general sense. The physical was very noticeable in the card as well. Um, you know, the dribbling wasn't like crazy good, not like on a level of Makalele or Conte or anything like that, but it was still very, very good to the point where like if I'm using him in the CDM, he'll be able to move really nicely. You notice the agility and balance mostly when it came to transitioning left and right with him uh, defensively, right? It was He was really, really fast at doing it. So uh, yeah, the card's fun to use, guys. It's an objective card. It's something fun for you to, well, not it might not be fun for you to do, but it's a, it's a cool concept. The objective mostly is to win games with the Bundesliga team. So if you've already done his milestone card from before, it's uh, it's not a terrible concept to do uh, in regards to using this card. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review today. Thank you guys so much for watching all the videos today. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and try to get uh, Correa afterwards for you guys. And uh, we'll basically take it from there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.